my name is Blake Sauna. I am a professional downhill skateboarder. I have been downhill skateboarding for two years. You see the same riders at all the different events. There's a pretty tight community. We just want more participants. We want to show people what the sport's all about and uh, just build awareness about the sport. What I think about when I'm downhill skateboarding is uh, very little. Everything's very quiet. All your worries, all your stresses you forget about. It's downhill from there. This is Reckless Abandon. Welcome to another episode of Reckless Abandon. I'm your host, Bruce Cook, and today we're checking out some downhill longboarding. Now these guys might not be flying 40 feet in the air or doing backflips, but they're going upwards of 80 kilometers an hour on pavement. Some of the riders are getting geared up. Let's go have a chat with them. Downhill skateboarding right now is, is really exploding. It started very grassroots. I mean, people have been uh, downhill skateboarding since the invention of skateboards. And seeing the change in, in people's styles and how you come to a race these days and everybody knows how to slide, control their speed. It's, it's incredible, you know, the, the way that it's growing. As far as starting in downhill skateboarding, really all you need is get a good set of gloves with plastic pucks, get a helmet and a longboard, and you just go out. And the first thing you should do is learn how to slide and control your speed so you can go down bigger hills and be in control. Coming up next, I put on my speed suit and face the giant. We're up here on Giant's Head Mountain with Blake Sonif doing some downhill longboarding down this narrow pavement strip. It's got S turns and switchbacks all over the place. My biggest worries about downhill longboarding are everything. Hopefully these guys got some good tips and uh, can save my skin. But first, I need to get suited up. I've got my best pair of coveralls, my moto helmet, and my favorite piece of foam. It's time to give it a whirl. So first step is to learn how to stop. All right. And uh, Graham here is going to show you uh, a pendulum, which is essentially um, to scrub off speed. Your board will go sideways, and then it'll automatically start to come back around. And that is the way you will learn to shut down. All right. So he's going to give us a shot and uh, show us how it's done. Well, that's uh, <laughs> looks easy, eh? I'll give it a shot. Giant's Head here in Summerland is not a beginner's course. I don't think Bruce is going to do too well on it. Um, I put my money on that he's going to fall pretty, pretty hard. Got some air there. <laughs> Today there was a lot of bales. Uh, There's a pretty steep learning curve uh, to be on this hill. I'm gonna need to head to the chiropractor to fix up some of these bones and muscles, but uh, all in all, it's a really good time. We're all done up here at Giant's Head Mountain. Be sure to become a fan on Facebook and check us out at reckonsabandoned.tv. See you next time.